Antonia is a self-taught programmer and a passionate advocate for women and LGBTQ plus people in STEM. She travels worldwide to help businesses diversify their workforce. Gender inequality is the greatest unfinished business of the 21st century. Now, diversity suffers in many different ways in the tech industry. We have an overrepresentation of whiteness and an underrepresentation of ethnic minorities. We have fewer people with disabilities, fewer people who are neurodivergent, and fewer women. She definitely has this quite powerful energy about her talk. She's quite passionate about what she does. What happens if we don't think about diversity? Well, there are some embarrassing and worrying consequences, particularly in fields like AI and machine learning. Because if you feed biased data into a system, you'll get biased results out. Antonia came across amazingly. She explained everything really clearly. She presented facts as, as well as her thoughts and her experiences. One day, a single talk changed my life forever. I was invited to do a TEDx Bristol talk, and in fact, one of the largest in Europe. But at the time of giving the talk, I wasn't out to my family yet. So two months before I stood on the big red dot, I came out to my family. I received homophobic threats, blackmail, and even bribery. It's incredible what she's achieved as a person against quite a lot of adversity to have come out of it all so strong. I had to think long and hard about it, but I decided that it was really important to go ahead with the talk. I get messages every week from Ghana, USA, Spain, Portugal, everywhere around the world, New Zealand the other day, from people who've said that it helps them feel validated. So that means more to me than anything else possibly could, and I will never regret doing that talk. Financial support was withdrawn, so I had to come up with some way of supporting myself. And in the end, I decided to learn programming. My interest in world building led naturally to virtual reality and augmented reality. I felt quite inspired after hearing her talk. Real testament to her strength and her drive. I want to emphasize to anyone who's not actively looking to increase the diversity in their organization to please start doing so. And that's not just because it is obviously morally important, but diversity also pays. A survey of 1,700 companies found that those with diversity in terms of ethnic, socio-economic and the gender gap on their decision-making and executive teams had 19% higher revenues as a direct result of innovation. Antonia was very clear, uh, very professional, knows what she's talking about for sure. We we'll definitely listen to her again, very informative. The more different cultural experiences people on a team have had, whether because of their educational background or because of their race or because of their gender, the more different ways you can look at a problem and the more creative solutions you can come up with. Innovation is the key to your success, so I urge you to consider diversity for your own sake as well as for everyone else's. It's definitely made me think to keep the diversity as number one agenda to grow a team. Stereotype threat is the idea, whether real or imagined, that you might be conforming to some negative stereotype about yourself. This raises your cardiovascular activity, it causes your anxiety and cortisol levels to go up, and in general your performance at any cognitively demanding activity will become worse. If you put a girl in a room full of boys and give her a math test, she will perform worse than if you put her in a room with multiple girls. If you tell them you're testing for gender differences, girls will perform worse. I was quite inspired, shocked by some of, some of the facts, um, but yeah, definitely left thoughts in my mind and has made me more aware. Once you control for industry, it turns out women do ask for promotions and pay rises at the same rate as men, but they just aren't given them as often. There's a study of 25 different companies and 250 appraisals, and the word abrasive appears 17 times across 13 different women's appraisals and exactly zero times in men's appraisals. Definitely learned a lot. Haven't witnessed a better speaker. Lots of energy. Cool, calm, to the point. She just absolutely held the room. She was incredible. She was great. 
Now, you as tech startups have so much power to define your company culture because you're like an airplane that's just taking off. One single degree of change early on can take you to a wildly different destination. And that's so exciting. It is within your reach. I really believe you do have the power to make massive changes. I urge everyone to consider hiring diversity and inclusion officers or diversity and inclusion consultants because first of all, this isn't just about the gender gap. And second of all, lots of different kinds of interventions are needed. The more different you are to someone, the more you can learn from each other. We have a long way to go. But fortunately, you, more than anyone, will be able to achieve it. Thank you. I can take what I've learned tonight and hopefully apply that in lots of companies. So I think there's a, there's a huge amount of benefit that we can all receive from, from her knowledge.